What is going on everybody and welcome to a brand new video here on this channel. In today's video, I'll be sharing five tips to create cinematic 3D artworks using Blender 3D. Before we jump into today's video, if you do want to see more 3D tips and tricks exactly like this video today, uh, just like this video and subscribe to the channel. That way it just lets me know that you enjoy this type of content. I won't waste any more of your time. And to kick off the tips, let's start off with number one, which is the most crucial, volumetrics. <laughs> One of the key things that majority of cinematic films incorporate within their scenes is haze or volumetrics. By doing this, it absorbs the light within your scene and gives the overall scene a sense of atmosphere. To do this within Blender, all you need to do is add a cube and scale it to cover your entire scene, add a new material and delete the default principled BSDF shader, add in a volume scatter shader and connect the volume to the volume. Simply just reduce the density settings to change how thick you want the volume to be. I tend to keep mine between 0.03 and 0.05. Just keep in mind when adding lights to your scene that you'll need to put the power up quite significantly due to the volume scatter absorbing the light. Having a background in photography, I've been able to transfer my skills from composition over to the world of 3D. A great way to practice your composition is by enabling the rule of thirds guides line within your camera in Blender. The point here is to try and keep your subject within or on those line intersections. Here's a graph that showcases the different types of composition guidelines that you can follow and incorporate within your scene. Please note that these are just guidelines and you don't have to follow these if you don't want to. At the end of the day, this is going to be your artwork and basically you have the creative freedom to make these decisions on what you think looks best for your artwork. The third tip is to learn and incorporate complementary colors. In the film industry, a super popular combination and colors I love to use within my artworks is the teal and orange complementary colors. To easily understand how complementary colors work, just screenshot this color wheel. You simply pair a color from the color wheel to the opposite side of the wheel. For example, blue and orange, violet and yellow, green and red, and so on. If you've noticed, these color combinations are made up of one cool color and one warm color. This helps create what is known as a simultaneous contrast. Simultaneous contrast occurs due to the illusion when you put one complementary color next to the other. Both colors will appear brighter and ultimately grab your viewer's attention. A great way to elevate your render to go from something boring and flat into something interesting and captivating is to utilize scene design. Scene design is adding small details within your scene to simply build up a story and to create interest within your scene. I use Sketchfab for pretty much most of my models and they have a fantastic library with over 100,000 free models. One tip to really keep in mind when adding scene design is don't get carried away. I always get carried away and just add too much stuff within the scene and then ultimately it just makes it look cluttered and claustrophobic. So definitely keep this in mind when adding your scene design. The final and the most important tip to take away from this video is to use the Cycles render engine. Within Blender, there are two main render engines, Eevee and Cycles. Eevee gives you an unrealistic final result due to the way the light is interacting within the objects. If you're aiming to get photorealistic results, you are more than likely going to want to use Cycles. However, if you are a complete beginner to Blender, or you just don't have a very beefy GPU, definitely consider experimenting and playing around in the EV renderer only because it's faster and doesn't bog down your computer. However, the cons to using cycles is extremely long render times if you don't have a powerful enough GPU. Cycles is a ray tracing renderer, hence the longer times to complete, but it gives you that accurate and realistic look. Thank you all so much for watching and if you learned something new, please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel. 
Tag me in your artworks if you utilized any of these tips within this video and tag me over on Instagram at CC's Eyes. My name is Corey and I'll see you guys in the next video.